All right, you wrongans. You've arrived at Old Jack's Shubin. Right, basically, despite the classical music in the background, it's, this is a Shubin. If you're of uh, a Caribbean descent, you know what a Shubin is. However, we're twisting things up a bit because this Shubin, we're just using it as a kind of platform for my channel members just to sketch. Um, I'm gonna use grease pencil in this series, always use grease pencil in this series, and just basically sketch stuff. You know, maybe do character studies, maybe do animations, maybe do a bit of anatomy. Um, nothing, uh, it's not a tutorial, this, this, this series, it's just, I mean, don't get me wrong, well, life is a tutorial. Did you hear that? Yeah, a bit of wisdom, find out a bit of wisdom there. Life is a tutorial. But um, it's not like, oh, this is a grease pencil blender tutorial. It's just gonna be me sketching. And occasionally I'll talk about lighting, perhaps form. We'll work on anatomy. I'm still learning as well. Always remember that. I'm not, the, the I don't know everything. And um, I'm always gonna be learning. So, you know, I'll try and impart a bit of knowledge and wisdom, he says every now and again, hopefully I'll be part of some knowledge and wisdom. Because I'm an old geezer, I know a few things, not much. What do you call it? Um, the beginning of wisdom is understanding that you know nothing at all. And I surely know nothing at all. Or like, as you say, I know a grain of sand in a beach of sand. That's me. I know very little, little. You know nothing, John Snow. Right, anyway. So what we're going to do today, we're going to open this up by sketching Hellboy. As you see, I've started him already. So I don't know how long this tutorial is going to be. I mean, I say tutorial, how much this, how long this uh, sketching session is going to be. If I'm struggling, sometimes I don't always hit, hit the the notes and if I start struggling with the drawing I might fast forward it and just carry on from a fast forward point so yeah I guess let's just me let me just uh, I've got some reference here I'm not just drawing out of my head I'm not that kind of guy um, so let's just uh, draw now um, I'm not always gonna how do you put it um, talk, especially when I'm doing a, a bit of a, a something quite complicated. Com can not say it complicated? Well, let me just check that I am recording. Yeah, that's good. It's all good. Always good to record. Um, yeah, sometimes I don't always. Uh, I'm always going to be talking. Sometimes I'm just going to try and concentrate, especially when I get to a harder part. So, something that I try and do when I'm sketching straight off the bat is, I, I, and I do often forget as well, is I sometimes try and remember, and I've talked about this before in other, in other parts of my tutorials, um, is finding that, that line of action. And uh, with this character, the line of action is kind of, kind of got an S curve here. And the view is like here. He's kind of uh, if I if I look at this character here, it's kind of a downward. It's a kind of a downward uh, pose. It's like the camera angle is kind of looking down at him a bit, you know. Um, so we're trying to replicate that. So I guess uh, maybe there could be a lot of reasons why you've arrived. You might have arrived on this, this um, on my channel just by chance. You know, you might have just randomly clicking around for Babe Station action or something. Not that you find that much Babe Station action on um, YouTube, but you might have been just randomly on on um, just fell on the site. Or you might have been following along with some of my other tutorials. 
And then when, when you saw this post, you went, oh yeah, that wrong one. He's posted something again. Let me have a look at what rubbish he's talking about this time. Whatever reason you're here, thank you for coming. And more importantly, if you su subscribed, thanks for supporting me. Supporting me. Supporting my my endeavours. See, see, straight away, you see what I'm doing there as well. Got in the habit, and it's a very bad habit. Drawing those chicken drawings. I hate what I'm meant to be doing is drawing more like with confidence as if drawing my lines as if I'm as if I'm confident about <laughs> where I'm putting my where I'm putting my, uh, my 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 lines you know if you look at this drawing here alright I, I came at this this was like I'd done this really early in the morning I just got off the bat and just started doing it Took me a couple of literally, I swear, it took me about about ten minutes to do this one, or if not even that, about five minutes. And it was just strokes, like drawing with my strokes. When and then if you look at this one, and I'm still not happy with it. It was like chicken drawings. It's not good. I got it's a habit that I do, and I'm sure others do it as well. That I got to stop doing it. I need to just start, you know, being more confident with my lines. It's it's just not cool, but you know it's just a habit. It's, I'm, it's just a habit. I guess it's a, a lack of confidence. I don't know what it is. I'll do it again. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it again and again. That those chicken drawings, but I'm trying. I'm trying not to do it as much, especially as. I've, I've said on tutorials, oh, don't do that. Don't do the chicken drawings. You know, draw with confidence. So, if I'm telling you guys to do it and then I'm not doing it myself, it's just not cool. So, usually what I do, if you're really new to, um, quite new to drawing, the, the trick to drawing complicated stuff is simplify it, simplify it, simplify it. So if you look at most characters, if you look at them, not all of them, yeah, all characters, even in the real world and comic books, especially in comic book stuff and and in um, and in um, the real world, is the trick is is to try and break things up into simple shapes you know if you look at even like this character here you try and break him up into into simple shapes so it's easier to manage sometimes it can be hard to see the shapes but they are there if you you know you train your mind to, to find them you will, you will, you will find them. So, it's just, so that's that's part of the trick, is is finding the simple shapes. That's 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 a key to becoming a a good artist. Now, you see some people, some artists, who well, are the really good ones. They can just off straight off the bat, jump in, without any reference. And uh, we're all, and also without any construction lines, just start sketching something that looks phenomenal. Without any, you know, so it doesn't look like they're doing a, you know, there's no construction lines. They're just they're just on it. You know, those guys, they haven't just arrived at that point. They they probably started off. Not that they show you, but they probably started off like with construction lines in their earlier days. But they've got to such a high caliber, high point in their in their learning that they no longer need to to do your construction lines. They can just they 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 just got the form locked in their mind, and they can just get at it like hardcore. 
but um, us mere mortals can't. Not yet. Maybe one day I'll, I'll be at that point. Maybe one day you will be at that point. Maybe at the moment you're at that point now. And you can just do it. You're, the, you're that guy. And kudos to you. And you just you arrived on this channel to, to learn a little bit about Grease Pencil. Not that on, on this particular... Um, in this particular series I'll talk about it. However, in saying that... Um, if you are, if you do want to learn about grease pencil, like the, 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 um, how do you put it, the, the technical side of it, I've got plenty of tutorials that on, on my site that talk about, uh, that teach it. I'll put a link below, so you just check those out if you want. But as I said, this is, uh, more about uh, just sketching, you know. So we're doing Hellboy today, but who knows what I'll be doing next week, you know. Oh. Who knows if if I'll be around next week, you know. God laughs at our plans, so I'm assuming I'll be around next week, but one never knows. What I will say is... Um, let's talk about why did I choose Hellboy so, I mean why do I like Hellboy why do you like Hellboy you might have actually arrived on this site because you like Hellboy just as much as I do well I guess one of the reasons why I like Hellboy is because he reminds me a bit of myself as in, he's got a dark side. I've got that dark side. Um, it's got that rage and anger. The furious anger and wrath. But he's a good lad. At heart, he's a good lad. Because he was brought up by that. I don't know if you've seen the film. But he was, or read the comic. But he was brought up by a good, a good person. And he tries to how do you put it um he tries to do good and that's just like me i try and do good i don't often succeed um and I like what i'm saying like and especially when i was a young guy i used to be a bit of a wrong one. but now as a as a grown man i try to be nice to people and kind I try I don't say I always do and there'd be a lot of people who would disagree yeah that's a fly just um, anyway a lot of people would disagree on that I'm a, I'm a good person especially because they judge you from the past your past mistakes but I like to think as an adult not as a teenager as an adult I've, for the most part, not always, I sometimes fall off the wagon and don't do good stuff. But in whole, I like to think I'm a, I, I, I'm kind of a good person. I do things right. Treat people the way I like to be treated. Um, that's the way you should be. Some people may disagree. Some people think um, life is all about, how do you put it, just making money. Getting as much, tricking people, getting as much as out of, out of people as possible. I don't believe that. I think you should try and be be good to each other. Life's short. There's no need to be a dickhead. The other reason why 
No, well, not the other reason. It's something I was, I was like last night when I was thinking about this. Uh, so I do actually think about stuff. When I was actually thinking about this tutorial series, I was like, what am I going to talk about? I don't want it to be scripted. I hate, you know, I think scripted stuff. It's just not cool. Don't I don't like scripted stuff. It just it just it's not. It's just fake. You just seem come over as a fake person. And um, yeah, I don't want to come over. So, but I was still. But you still think about it about about what you're gonna do. And um, there was a couple of things that 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 ran through my mind when I was thinking about. Um, this new episode, if you want to call it that, um, or a new series. And one of the things was, because when I was thinking about Hellboy and why I liked him, I liked him, as I said to you before, because of his fierceness. You know, he's got that kind of darker side. But, Is it's not the darker side really I think that it's that you should be I think how do you put it everyone should have a what well, I, I call it darker side but I, sh I, well, I shouldn't call it darker side really I should call it that I'm not taking any shit side you know that that kind of you're not going to let anyone bully you you're gonna stand up for yourself. You know, that's, you know, that's important. And uh, and that's what I think, uh, one should be thinking about in life when they're conducting themselves in life, is don't, let anyone walk all over you. No one. No one. You should always stand up for yourself. Don't get me wrong, this. There's always times to pick your battles. You shouldn't fight all the time. I'm not I'm not condoning going around picking fights or anything like that. I'm I'm condoning standing up for yourself no matter what. When you're in the riot, stand up for yourself. You know? It's it's sometimes hard, especially if you're, you know, you you're working in a in for, uh, you got a mortgage to pay and your your boss is a dickhead and whatever. Sometimes you got to swallow it, swallow the the the, the shit that he's shoveling you. But um, pick your battles and. But for the most part, you know, if if if. If, if someone's giving you too much shit, then just you, you shouldn't put up with it for no one. You know, you gotta be, be a man. Right, I'm back. I had to stop recording because uh, I started talking too much rubbish. There's there's limits to how much rubbish I can um, I can talk, and that you're gonna stomach. So I just went. I just started losing my train of thought and really went off the rails. So, and also it affected my, um, dare I say it, drawing, sketch. So I was just uh, struggling. So, forgive me. So we're just skipping ahead a bit. I think. Uh, I might have to limit the rubbish talking for a bit. Try and concentrate a bit harder. Because the head on this drawing is it's like it's very tilted down. It's quite it's quite an acute angle, it's kind of quite hard. 
for me at any rate to get it right. The reference I'm using for this um, sketch or study, you want to call it that, it sounds a bit posh study, to say sketch, is I'm using um, the Hellboy animated figurine toy. I've not got one, but what I'm what I'm doing is uh, I just downloaded the the image um, of the figurine online, and I'm just using that as a as a reference. I'm embellishing it a bit. But that's basically what I'm using. Yeah, his head looks a little bit better now. He's before his head was... Uh, I really made a, a bit of a hash of it, to be honest with you. Oh, it's, it's looking a bit better, maybe because always works when I talk less rubbish. And see, the, the difficult bit I find with this Hellboy is I find these uh, these cut of horns hard to hard to draw. When I first saw Hellboy, like. I remember a while ago when I first saw the comic, I always thought those these bits here were goggles or something. I didn't realise they were. It's only when I saw the movie that I I realised they were actually uh, his 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 horns that were being cut off. It's only then I realised that's what he, that they were actually horns that were cut off. Yeah, I'm a bit happier with the head now. The head looks better. I still, I still got work on the the flow of his his uh, his beard. I mean, I'm sure not to to disparage the great Mike Magnola, but I'm pretty certain that he. Um, was heavily influenced by, um, dare I say, I say influenced, maybe I should say copied, um, Wolverine. He has, you know, he has got that Wolverine quality to him. If you think about it, you know, the fact that he smokes a cigar he kind of uh, it's got that yes yeah, it's, it's, it's it, he he it is a very wolverine type of thing but you know th well that's the thing with art isn't it you you i i'm guilty of it i'm not guilty of it i'm going to i do it straight off the bat i don't even apologize really is i guess it, when you think about it in art is anything original you know everybody you you always copy you always copy and something, and then the the whole thing of it, I guess, is to um, you 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 then make it yours. You you add your own take to it. You know, that's 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 what you do. You don't you add your own slant. You kind of own it, you know, you put your own embellishments on it. Kind of struggling again with the with the body here. He's way off proportion here. Look at that. Look at that mess. Look at that that mess. Not that part of his arm's not that bad. That there. But work on that body. Should have had that really as a quick favour. Just rub that out. 
what I might do because this is going to be taking ages I think to get right and there's only so much this you can take I reckon so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to uh, I think what I'll do is I'll fast forward it and we'll come back when I've got more of the drawing done and I'm probably to be honest with you I'd probably have to talk not that you want to hear me that much but I'd have to talk probably easier because I won't be con I won't be concentrating so much the tricky bits because I kind of so what I'm going to do for good or bad is we're going to fast forward so I'll see you in a bit when the drawing is a little bit more finished alright alright hang in there Right, I'm back. I had to uh, jump forward because uh, I was struggling a bit. To, I was finding it hard to concentrate. Um, but I think I, I pulled it out of the fire. The lines are looking a lot better than they were before. Um, let me show you the image that I'm actually uh, using as reference. I'm using that image as reference. So it's it's kind of still a bit difficult because even though I'm using it this as reference, it's um how do I put it? It's how do I put it? It's still because it's not a, because it's it's a toy. I have to kind of uh, guesstimate the proper flowing forms of the the character. I suppose it's a good exercise. So it's, it's actually making me work a bit as opposed to just copying it straight off the bat. So it's making me do a little bit of work. I mean, I, I would love to be of the caliber where I, I don't have to I could just do stuff on my head but I'm not I'm not there yet it's just I think there's this Korean guy I think his name's G something yeah, I can't remember his full name but forgive me but um, you might know what I'm talking about he, can, he, he just draws inks and stuff he draws straight out of his mind he does some amazing stuff, uh, amazing. I mean, that, but even him, he, he he never started off that way. He just got better and better. I guess he's got natural, some people have got that, that natural ability. So what I said before, I, I think in one of my, um, in one of my earlier two, I think uh, that was it. In I, I posted something called um, didn't get many views though, um, but mastery, you know, to becoming a master. And um, and I said some people have got that natural. They they just got a natural ability to be to to be a good artist. Some people just got it, you know. Some people haven't. Don't get me wrong, I think you can, uh, how do you put it? I think, without trying to put people off, I, I do generally believe that some people are gonna be naturally gifted to be an artist where someone might be more naturally gifted to be a programmer. 
It's just the way it is. You know, someone say, oh, anybody can do that. Anybody can be a program. Any, anybody can be an artist. No, I don't think, I, I, how do you think? I think people have the ability perhaps to be, to do all of the things, but I'm talking about to the point where you just, it, it's, it's your talent, it's your natural ability. So some people are naturally gravitated towards maths and they can, they're gonna be good at maths no matter what. And there's other people, no matter how hard they try, they're never gonna be that good at maths. And I think that's the same with art. I mean, some people are gonna be good and they've got that natural spark. And you, you, you might even be good as in you might work for a company or whatever, but there'll be another guy in that same company who, who can just do stuff without without much effort. It doesn't seem, well, he probably put the work in, but without as much effort, you know what I mean? I just, it's just like I talked about this before about footballers. Say for example, you've got a natural ability for football. Like I, I talked about this about my brother. He's, I think, we, we both, when we were growing up, we both, as I said, I've told this story before, so forgive me if you, you've heard it before. We both um, love football and we both played as much as each other. But he was, he had the lower centre of gra gravity and he was just better. No matter what I say, he was just so much better than it than me. No matter, even though we played the both but same amount of time, but he was more athletic and he, he just had that natural, natural ability, football awareness, everything. You know, so I do feel there is something to be said about, you know, having that natural ability. I, I think the thing that separates people is you could have that spark, but some people haven't got that, that dedication. So I just feel like, all right, so let's just go, for example, for football. Um, you could have you could have a, a modicum of talent or not even be that talented with football, but you might have that dedication and that dedication is the thing that will perhaps um, make you a professional footballer because even though you, you're prepared to put the hard work in, you you never be that as good as Maradona, say, for, say. you never be that guy, but because you've got that determination you, you you might do all right and you know do okay in a in the Premier League or whatever. So I don't want to put anyone off and say, oh, you can never be a good artist. I do I do think that you can be a good artist, but will you be a great artist? Also depends on how. If if you have got that natural spark, natural ability, there's some things that. All right, here's, a, here's another argument. Let's talk about, Mo, say Mozart, for example. He, he's a, he, okay, he tra he, but he was a prodigy. So that's what I'm, I guess that's the word I'm, used, I'm, I'm looking for. Some people are, are prodigies and can they, get, they just gravitate it and they're gonna be genius at it no matter what. Others are not. And it's just the way it is, you know. You can't just pretend it's not that way. It, it is the way it is. You know? Now, am I a prodigy? <laughs> am I hell? <laughs> I'm just struggling, mate. I'm just struggling. But I've got that discipline. I've got that. The thing about me is I've got that terrier instinct where I'll just carry on, carry on. And I'll just, even if, and I just won't give up. So I, I do think I've got a bit of a spark. But I, I ain't no prodigy, that's a fact. As you can see by the hands that I'm drawing, and sausage fingers. Uh, we'll, have a, we'll come back to that. That's, a, that's appalling, isn't it? We'll come back to that. Let's move on to, I did do this side pretty good. All right, this is uh, his gun. He's gun finger.
kind of perspective. It's kind of quite a difficult one. Just want to say if you've if you've subscribed and you're supporting the channel, thanks a lot. I genuinely appreciate it. I appreciate the subscriptions. I'm hoping that this channel will grow into something good, big. And not just that, but also something that I've got some really, well, everybody's got good ideas, but I've got some ideas. Um, that I would love to implement on this channel. I think pretty good ideas, you know. So I do appreciate your support. So what we're going to probably do after after I've done this, I'll link him. Depending on how, how well we do get on, we might s s skip ahead in a bit. I seem to be doing it okay at the minute. Just drawing his gun pouch at the minute. I think I will have to fast forward soon because this drawing is going to take. It's taking me probably won't take you that long. I wonder if you if you're if you're following along. Let me know. Just post the message and you know just 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 out of interest actually. Post the post and let me know if you're actually following on. It's just it's just out of interest. It just it'd be nice to know if people are not just watching it but actually drawing as well. Got his towel coming here, swings round, and curls up there. That's not a bad outline. I'm quite relatively pleased with that. It's not that bad, that actually. Just his gun is going to be a bit tricky. That perspective, getting it right, it's going to be hard, I think. But we'll do it. We'll do it. The harder part, really, was it's kind of Harder part is his kind of um, his his hands. I always find, like most artists, very few hands are the bane of all artists. I think, apart from the the prodigies days, 
I just find the hands so hard. I did, it, it, sometimes I, I get it. Sometimes I do it. I get it straight away, but sometimes I don't. And I could spend literally forever on on a on a hand. There's other times I could just jump in and get it straight away. It all depends. But I'm getting. better at hands see for me what it is I used to draw a lot um, when I first got into graphic designer I, I drew a lot all the time and then I got into 3d graphics and what happened was I neglected my drawing skills for a very long time and then and then I actually took a hiatus from graphic design for a very long time for for a number of years. And it's only kind of recently, say within the last year and a half, two years, that I, st I started getting back into my art. So I'm really rusty, not just in the 3D, not just in, in my drawing ability, but actually in my, um, Modeling, everything. Basically, I'm just really rusty. Rusty, maybe not. Maybe I'm being too kind to myself. Just I'm, I'm at poor standard. So I need to get a lot better because I've got some good ideas for the future of this uh, channel and some projects that I want to do. All right, ladies and gents, that's it. I reckon I'm reasonably happy with it. I hope you liked the, the first episode of Old Jack's Sketchbook. Um, next week, we'll, we'll do another sketchbook. Not sure what we're going to tackle next week, but we'll think of something. All right then, guys and girls, I'm out. I'll see you later.